So, uh, Horst, we're looking at something very interesting here today. You have a polyphonic uh, modular system, which is quite a rarity. So, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. So, the idea was uh, a little bit I like uh, at my youngest age, um, for sure, to make my own four-month synthesizer in youngest age. And my son has motivated uh, because uh, to do this stuff again with the new technologies and from my profession, uh, coming from the industry, make automation stuff. And okay. I have a hard blood to that and doing this stuff 12 years in my own cellar, and now with the push of Schneider <laughs> here, the guys will say, you have to come out of your own cellar ah, and bring this to the, to the booth. Yeah, so they have me pushed a little bit. So, so well, how is it? Is it like a controller unit plus, uh, yeah, plus voice? Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely completely right. So for the, for the structure, when you can say all the sound and we have after here is coming just out for the M800, and this engine has two different timbres you can set up on the end with a voice uh, uh, allocation of 12 voices and they are share the voices together and give over on the fly the parameters of the certain timbre on the fly to the voice. So right, we have a okay. good compromise to have sound. So, but the impor important thing is also the voice structure is very enriched. So that consists of a wavetable engine and this wavetable engine uh, is uh, for sure. So now we cannot hear something. I'm hearing it. Uh, you hear it? Yeah. Okay, because I have no headphone oh, on it, head so I put my headphones <laughs> it. It's not so looking nice, but I have I'm to sorry. do a headphone because I cannot play anything when I not hear something. That's so, okay. okay. So, for the principle is the, the good thing on this uh, engine is very rich. So, a voice consists of, in some of uh, eight oscillators that are working. So, from the first, so I give you just the this. So it looks uh, and sounds very rich. Um, the idea was behind from the structure is that we have uh, classical oscillators uh, like you know as uh, Svedos, uh, Triangle, yeah. Twals and so on with all the typical capabilities. Is sync able with the other oscillators so it follows a clear structure to mix it, go to the filter and to the amp section. So, so is this all happening inside here? Or it's all inside here. So this is uh, confusing and that is a major thing that you're not confusing is just control elements. So even ah. the sound generation is here. This has a bus internally and give us the con controllability of a modular synth, ah. but with the storability of a desktop synth. And you can tweak your own desktop as you like with more or less modules, including your position, your favorite position. Ah, so these are control Just elements. control things. Right, and understand. for sure, and that's the cool stuff, you can also get as an example on a filter. I've put it also to put from a some MIDI controller by side. Right. So yeah? you can, right, yeah, can right. make a learn in of every parameter that is under control here, or you can do it to go to the filter and tweaking it here. So right. and even when you go to some station, you just press here. And you can still control the filter uh, here, and that's the, 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 the right. good stuff. Okay. okay? So, so, is there any control voltage uh, aspect to yeah, this as well? That is not, you, we have planned it because the major problem we have from the huge structure of a polyphonic synth, we have some, yeah, yeah. need some ideas how we can do it. Because that is a willing is there, but it is very hard, you understand, fixed sure. structure against uh, vertical allocation, 96 oscillators. 64 envelopes where control which so yeah, that is a yeah. philosophical thing you know yeah. when somewhere have a good idea i like to do that okay? okay so that is not enough we have also for every part that we have an engine to can give some effects, effects engine, so that right. means every part has your own effect engine with a stack able effect section and then we have for every part your own um, that looks uh, very fine so i have also arrangement here that you can do the midi settings and all the settings of every part can be stored in one uh, arrangement. And I want to now to go back to some something what you can can hear. Ah, so you're using another keyboard there, so you've got multi timbre It's all done by the MI800.
So there are there samples in here as well? Drum samples going on. So you have some drum sounds in there as well? Yes, and the next uh, is that we have implemented in the, uh, in the uh, step sequencer a drum engine 2 that are using a sample normal trigger sampler with uh, 32 wave tables, uh, oh waves okay. you can load and then you can tweak your own sound in that. And for the wave table it's the same as compatible with the serum. Okay. And you can produce the wave tables with a serum editor from the XFair. Yeah. And with this guy you can produce your own stuff and mm -hmm. we can look it's also it's, it's mm -hmm. amazing when we're doing uh, some some sounds. So I get back to my settings here. So and now we have uh, we can see the wave table oscillator working. So you can see the wave tables can be chosen. So we can switch between different wave tables. I, I, I. Okay? And you can also tweak the, the starting point where the wave table starts, how deep it's modulated. Right. And this idea you get the fundament of a Swedos shaped low pass filtered subtractive uh, synth with a wave table, it's a cool sound that comes out. Excellent. So, I mean, the, the core unit, is, is this available? Are you, are you selling it yet? We, yes, we, we start to, to sell and we we'll try to bring it out uh, nearly the, the herbs, uh, the autumn, in, in, in August, September. Yeah. So the idea is for sure we are getting here more input, so we're coming out new. And we have to a little bit tweak something uh, and think how is the concept going on. Because the idea is also to use these controllers in the future to make some soft synths to control with this panel the soft synths in your door. You get a little bit the haptic back of the modular world, but with the advantage of the, the door. And for sure, it's more for live setups and for musicality, for keyboard affine people yeah. to bring it together. And what to do is uh, we have to, to learn what's the inputs and how the people are reacting on it. On the other side, uh, we have to do more in the integration to the, to the Eurorack models. Well, it would make sense, I think, if you had uh, the ability to map control voltage outputs from the controller rather than input. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That is, that's mainly the idea, but we have to talk with experts to find also the right concepts for right, sure. Okay, so uh, how much did you think you were going to be charging for the main unit? Yeah, the main unit, uh, we have a, 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 a price uh, preparation uh, for 1900 euros uh, across for this uh, engine. And this is for that what we think for the, uh, a, a good price, including taxes, so it's a brutal price. So we have also to think about... And what about the individual uh, controller modules? Yeah, that is the problem. We have this individual controller modules released by 700 euros and making no sound. So that is all the people saying it's too much. But for somewhere, it's, uh, the reason is this uh, nice uh, LED yeah, is, is yeah. very cool, but it's very expensive for yeah, us. So the idea is we're doing a second a layer with just without LED right. feedback, just with encoder. So this this don't pushing against the principle, and uh, follows the same principle, and that may be a price range that we are reach uh, 200 euros a, across per, per module. Okay. So this and is but so the, the thing is it, all, it will all power from this is just a standard Eurorack case. So yeah. Yeah. Right. That is the, the main major idea, and the point is uh, for sure. So something uh, have to be analyzed what the people are meaning, and then on the end we have to, to do something in that direction. So what do I like to have a concept behind and not just single modules. And that has to be integrated and I have to learn this from the market because yeah. I'm not uh, so expert uh, science. The others here and it's uh, cool to learn from all the others what they think about this machine. Hey, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for the interesting. It's very proud for me. <laughs> Can't believe that. So, thanks. <laughs>